Page 23, this old man. On page 22, you get a note review. They want you to circle the G's and the A's. You can have fun doing that. And then they give you the pronto prep thing to prepare you for the different things you're going to find in this piece. You can have fun with that. Let's go talk about this piece. 4-4-10. Four, four, you got to count to four and you're counting quarter notes. And look at where the fingers are. We've always been in this position so far. Now we're starting to move around a little bit. It's bound to happen. I mean, you got keys all over the place. You're going to have to move around eventually. So, okay. Now what they're doing here is they're telling you fourth finger on the fir that first note. You know that's a G. Mm, got to know that's a G. You put the fourth finger on it. That puts your hand in this position. So you got the... First get the fingering in the notes. When you approach a piece of music, Sometimes, if it's easy enough, you can do the rhythm at the same time, but otherwise, if it's struggling, just get the fingering in the notes. So it's, it's like fourth finger, that's a G and an E, and that's the first line, really. And then the second line, you have an A, and then you're coming all the way down, and then at the end of the second line, the eighth notes, that's an E and an F, and then the third line, look out. Here, you got to reach down with the thumb. Here, so the thumb's doing these. So you got to go all the way down here. And then when you do that, cl let, clap the hand. Just rest. Now you're in this position. We just changed hand positions. This is one way we do it. We went from here to here. So in the third line, you're starting here. And then you reach down. And then claps. And you got that for the rest of the line, you're there. And then the last line, a G and a couple of D's and an F, and then you got the rest of it, I hope. That's the fingering in the notes. Now let's go back and add the rhythm, see if we can do the notes at the right time. One, two, three, four, just quarter notes and half notes. We've done this before. And the second line, second measure, look at this. One, two, three, and four, and. Got eighth notes on that one. And then third line we got eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then just quarter notes and half notes in the last line. That's the rhythm. So that's pretty much it. If you want to sing it, it's up to you. I recommend you leave the singing until after you've learned the piece. Well, there is one additional tricky spot they're not pointing out in this piece I want to tell you about. They're telling you in the pronto prep when to move the hand more or less. But there's one hand movement they're leaving out. And that is when you finish the piece you're in this position at the bottom there. You play that one here. But when you repeat it they want fourth finger on the G here. So you're back in this position. So you got to go from the last note back to the first note at the beginning here. I recommend it's the same type of move we use to go down where you left the hand there you just move the thumb down and then move the hand. Here leave the thumb where it is, move the hand, the rest of the fingers go up and so your fourth finger is ready and then after you play the G at the top then you can move the hand up and you've moved your hand again there kind of crawling around like a spider type thing here. You don't need to lift up and move. You can if you want to, but it, I would prefer right now you learn this movement of being able to move this hand around and, and leave the thumb anchored or leave the hand alone and move the thumb around. These are two moves we use a lot in piano and you need to get good at both of them. But that's what the piece is. I don't have a lot of else to show you here. It's, I want to point out in over on pronto prep if you're doing those preps I want to look out on the second line of the pronto prep in the last measure they got it here and then here and they, there's a little note there move hand back home they're considering home to be this position and they're saying after you do that well don't do it immediately don't go from here to here Leave your hand where it is until you play it, and then move your hand. So I think that arrow belongs after the note, not on top of it. So then you move the hand. The same thing in the last line where they're telling you to move the hand back home. 
Do it after you play the C, not as you play it. There, because there is a difference. Let's play this slowly, this, this old man thingy, just to make sure we got the notes and the rhythms okay. And we are going to repeat it because it's got a repeat sign. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, and go, and two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and Repeat three and four and three and four and and mm -hmm. 